Good morning, everybody. I'm smiling today. I don't know why. Yep, I'm smiling. Because all this is just a giant joke. Good morning, Dean. How you doing, buddy? One of my, uh, one of the essential workers. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Um, hi, Savannah. How's my little queen today? It's good to see you on here. How's, uh, how's your social learning going? Good morning, Susan. How are you? Everything good? Good. Um, my lovely wife is listening to me on, on her. Thank you. Um, I'm glad. Good, good girl. Call me later. Okay. All right. Um, so to test or not to test, that is the comment I put in my, um, on this video today. And I, here we are day 25, day 25. And I have a feeling there's a much more of these days coming, which we've talked about in the past. Savannah's bored. 11-year-olds hmm. bore easily. Um, I, you know, hey, so I, I you know, I, I said in the very beginning that, that testing is going to be everything. And and they need to separate the people who are asept. You know, they, they need to do some segregation. For our own our own good, I don't I don't people don't like hearing that, but um, if you that's the only way they're going to control this thing. If this thing could roll this, if the social if you figure only fifty to sixty percent of Americans are actually um, participating in social distancing, then that forty percent is 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 going to be our risk factor. And our risk factor is really high right now because um, and nobody can get on the same page about how social distancing should be. Now they're saying up to up to 14 feet that this virus can spread in the air up to 14 feet. And we're only told six feet. So I'm not good at math, but I can add. OK, I'm, I'm thinking along the lines that we, we, we have a long ways to go to figure out the best method to control this. And this isn't, you know, this control method is going to be global. This control method is going to be for everybody. No matter what your race, color, creed, whatever, this is going to have to be a, a something that, that, that we do from now on. I tell you right now, handshaking's out. I've said this before, handshaking's out. Um, hugging, probably out. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to change how we actually interact with each other. We're not going to stand close to each other. They're saying 2022 before we actually get this under control. Now I'm saying, I don't think we'll be in lockdown that long because if they leave us in lockdown that long, I think just other social issues are going to kill people more than the virus, which is already having problems with that. You know, we struggle, most most of us struggle from some sort of mental, you know, stability in some sort. Anxiety, depression, um, our diets cause a lot of that, our, our, emotional, our emotional needs cause a lot of that, just being humans in general cause a lot of, 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 of mental problems. Um, being locked down is going to change how you look at home. Home, home is where the heart is, has never meant more than it does right now. Your home is your sanctuary. Your home needs to be where, and you're getting a whole new vision of home. Most of us don't spend this much time at home. I'm luckily lucky to have the kind of job where I can work from home majority of the time. So being home for me is not that uncommon. But for people who go out into the workforce on a daily basis, being home 
is weird. It's like being home from school and all you got to watch is, is The Price is Right and soap operas. It's just weird. And it takes a while to get used to that. And it, it, it's 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 going to be hard on a lot of people to change our habits. But as long as this keeps moving forward, our habits are going to change. Guess who's on the treadmill? And yeah, cats are going crazy. Sorry. Um. Anyway, so let's let's just focus on the positive here, and hopefully they get some some uh, some change going, some testing going on. Where if you want to get tested, you want to know. You know, I want to know. I want to go test. I want to go get tested. I want to know if I'm positive or negative for my own well-being I, and for nobody else's, for mine. For me to know that, okay, I do not have the virus and, or I do have the virus and I can either protect the others or protect myself. Why, why is that, such a, why is that such, a, such a bad thing? I mean, how did we get caught with our pants down this bad when we knew China had this thing? Why isn't China sharing the data correctly? They're testing. They're testing like mad. They have special machines. They have special apps. And it's it's why why do we can't why can't we? This is a global epidemic. Why can't we share? It's just baffling to me. Why why can't we why can't we all just get on board and say you know and and I'm, Governor Newsom outlined like him or hate him. I'm not going there. Um, why that, that we should be that, that he outlined what the, the steps are to coming out of this, you know, kind of backing down off the stay in place. And um, we needed that. We needed to have some kind of, you know, goals and pinpoints that we can that we can look at and say, this is where we're going to go with this. Now, that being said, his goals are very lofty. And probably not here in the near future. So, watching t watching the news and every every news program is about how can we restart the country? How, how we can restart the country? Hold on, Mulan is very um, active this morning. Uh, yeah, you know, hey, Fran, how you doing? I see, I see, he's watching. Um, Danielle, how you doing? Uh, Jennifer, Fran, there we go. Let's see, am I missing any more waves? No, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, Fran, you're right. You know, it's like I never, I was never one. I wash my hands, you know, three or four times a day, like normal, but you know, um, I washed them more when I was a mechanic, when I was working on cars, but like the last 10 years of my 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 career working on cars i wore latex gloves all the time when i was whenever i touched a car or got into a car but i was i was sick a lot i got sick two or three times a year because i was getting in, in into people's environment their, their personal space i was stepping into i was touching their steering wheel and i was touching knobs and and and, and i was touching places where people touch and and people brought their they didn't care if they were sick, hey, I can bring my car to the mechanic. That, I mean, yeah, I had time off to do it because we weren't open on the weekends. Nobody was open on the weekends. And I, I think that if we were open on the weekends, I know people don't want to hear this, but if we worked on weekends when people were let more relaxed, they'd probably be less apt to bring their cars into the dealerships for repair when they were not sick. Just saying. Since I can't went into real estate, I've been sick a few times. Got in one H one, but who knows? I, I do. I'm out in the public, but I got I get sick a lot less. So that just tells me that I was getting in an, an environment that was was tech contaminated. And people do, you know, these 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 workers at the grocery stores, employers, give your people masks and gloves. They're cheap. Give them to them. Protect them. You want them at work? Protect them. It's simple concept. Don't look at the bottom line. Your bottom line is really going to suck when you have a, when you have no employees coming to work. It's stupid. Protect your employees. Employees, protect yourself. The employer's not giving it to you, and you still want to make a paycheck. Put a mask on and go to work. It, 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 
it just irritates me to see people that are not protecting themselves or protecting others. It's not so much protecting yourself as protecting others. So it's a two-way street. I know, I know I'm getting on my bandwagon right now, and I've, and I've been on this bandwagon for a while, but still, dude, what the hell? We, we got to learn from this. We have to learn from this, or this will be sele a natural selection in process as we speak because we're not learning. We're not following through. But why, I see, why do people not want to wear them? What is what I you know I I I I kind of get the vaccination thing, okay? But why would you not want to wear it? Oh, I'm afraid I, I look like I look like a geek when I'm wearing a, a face mask. Yeah, a year ago, I wouldn't wear a I wear no face mask, looking like a face mask. We don't make eye contact when we walk up and down the aisles as it is. Nobody smiles at each other. You walk up and down, nobody leave. They won't look you in the eyes and they won't smile. What happened to just common courtesy? Looking someone in the eyes and just smiling, saying, I hope you're having a good day. I'm happy. I hope you're happy too. What happened to that? Now we can't even see a face. You, you can't see a smile. You have emotionless zombies walking around with face masks on, not, not looking at each other, not wanting to make eye contact, not wanting to come in contact with each other. But then you have other people who have no masks on, no gloves, and don't even care if they walk right by you. So we're doomed. Yep. I'll say it. We're doomed. Joe, what's up, buddy? John, hey, what's going on? Oh, it just it's just crazy. You know, I, I'm 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 looking for a test. There'll be a time when 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 the government probably will send out mail-in tests to everybody, maybe, you know, or they have they'll have test sites where you can go sit in a line in your car for six seven hours and wait to get get tested real quick um it'll have to come down to that it will it will have to come down to everybody being tested everybody have their genes and you know i don't and i want to hear, oh they're collecting my dna and, and, you know we need to know these things the only people that need to hide from these things are criminals i have nothing to hide i don't care I'm not going to get in. I don't care if they inject me with a microchip. I'm not doing, doing nothing. Nothing stupid. I have no reason to hide from the government or anybody, the sheriff, nobody. So why would I not want to protect myself? But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So Savannah has um, some cases in Whitesboro where she lives there in Texas. Yeah, Texas is getting kind of beat up there, you know. Um... Yeah, I see. I don't know. I don't know. I see. I don't. I don't think there's a real answer to the, the whole the whole pandemic thing. You know, and I was I went to Home Depot yesterday because I'm I'm remodeling my bathroom. Stay tuned for pictures because I'll put them all on in one shot. Um, I've been taking pictures through the whole process. A little bit here, a little bit there. I'm not trying to stress myself out. I need projects between between building my model and building doing my bathroom and working in my garden and getting my greenhouse motivated. <coughs> That's that's all I got going on. I'm not doing hardly any real estate. I've got a couple of deals going, but real estate at my at my part, way I'm at my career, real estate is pretty pretty easy. You know, anything that I really need to do can be handled really quickly. Even even when this before this happened, real estate for me was like maybe four hours a day, and 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 the rest was tr you know just trying to find more work, marketing and Facebook and doing all the things that that, that put me put myself out there to the public. Um, you know, now it's getting more automated, so it's more set and forget you know, with Google ads and Facebook ads and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, I just, I just, I just think testing is going to be the key right here. I, I, I really do. Um, and not just if you have symptoms, they need to test every American, every person on the globe. Because here's what's happening is these third world countries, you think we're bad? These third world countries, they're not doing anything. They're they're letting their people die. They're just they're just, well, you know, it'll work itself out. Everybody go out and go to separate bushes. Uh, you know, please. It's gotta be we've 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 focused on these countries. Now we need to focus on ourselves. 
We need to focus on who we are as, as, as Americans and save ourselves through this. And, and hopefully we can come out of this by helping others as well. But this is, this is a one-on-one -on -one kind of scenario, people. We need to, we need to just get all get tested and I'll figure out who's going, who's in what category, how much we have. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say, I said this in the last three or four videos, the numbers aren't right. The numbers aren't even close to right. You can take those numbers, double them, every one of them. I'll bet. I would put money on it and I'm not a gambling person. But, uh, hey Jim, how's it going, buddy? Um, yes, yes, Samantha, your mom is definitely one who does not need to uh, catch this because it will not be well for her. Yes, I understand that. Um, and, and we'll just hope for the best for your mom. Um, anyways, I ran and raved again this morning. You know, I'm going to probably do this every morning. I promised you I'd be here every morning with you guys having my coffee enjoying my time with you guys getting to speak my mind um but i'm probably going to start doing a zoom um and let you guys we'll just have some conversations on zoom off camera um maybe next day or so so um if you'd like to uh hit me up if you like to have a conversation online you know with zoom and um i will uh i'll get that set up and um, Zoom Yahtzee is definitely going on, and Zoom Bingo is definitely going on, and the Zoom cocktail parties are definitely going on. So uh, we find our way to stay social. I think this is going to be this this whole video Zoom um, distance learning. I think this is going to be the future. I think this is going to come down to the home modules being places where we spend more time at in the past we have basically just the home has been where you sleep and you eat and every you know you know we, we're, we're as by nature to be in nature and i think we're gonna be our home module is gonna have a little different aspect so real estate for me is going to change a little bit it did change with the psps's where now generators if you have a generator um that's a value where before it's like, eh, I don't know, it's something else to take care of, not something else to keep running and fixed and maintained. And, you know, the people thought it as more of a, like a swimming pool. A swimming pool in real estate is like negative. It's, it's not, it's a neutral because some people want it, some people don't. It's not, it's not that of a, you know, not, it's not the best money spent on your house. Swimming pools, no swimming pools. Anyways, I'm going to get off my, my ladder here and, Give a few more waves. Craig, how's it going, buddy? Adriana, I hope you're doing well. Um, everybody, thank you very much for coming on this morning again. So um, I'm out. Elbow bump. Live long and prosper. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I love you. See you tomorrow morning. Bye.